Shaykh, we know a person who doesn't pray is a kafir, but I heard you say in a uh, lecture before that if a person prays on and off, he's a hypocrite. Now I'm a little confused because wouldn't that be worse than a kafir and what would be the evidence for that? First of all, I did not say a person who does not pray is a kafir because this is a generalization. The hadith generalizes it. The Prophet says, alayhi salatu salam, between a man and shirk or kufr is leaving salat. In another hadith, whoever leaves the salat is a kafir. And in another hadith, the oath or the pledge between us and them is prayer. Whoever abandons it is a kafir. So this is the general trend. Who doesn't pray is a kafir. Now, I cannot take this hadith or hadiths and implement it on a particular individual until the conditions are fulfilled in that individual. Likewise, I can't say everyone who deals in riba is cursed by Allah. This is a well-known fact in the Quran and the Sunnah. I cannot <clears throat> cascade this on Mr. Abdullah, who works in an interest-based bank. And I say, Mr. Abdullah is cursed by Allah. He's in hellfire. He's waging war against Allah and the Messenger, I cannot say that. Because there are conditions that must be fulfilled. Knowledge, intention, the willingness to do it, voluntary, not compelled to do it. There is no misconception in it. And there are obstacles to be avoided. And if these two were to be fulfilled, alhamdulillah, then it can be established. So a person who doesn't pray in my office, I never seen him pray. I can't say he's a kafir because he might pray when I am at the masjid. He might pray in his home in secret. So I can't label him as a kafir until the conditions are fulfilled. Yes, if he raises the flag and says, I don't care. I don't pray because I don't believe in prayer. <clears throat> and we show him that these are the pillars of Islam. He said, nevertheless, I don't want to pray. I don't believe in prayer. No, this is a kafir. Khas. There's no ambiguity in it. A person who prays on and off, he has the hypocrisy sign. And this is the practical hypocrisy, not the hypocrisy related to conviction and belief. The hypocrisy, the major hypocrisy, which is putting the person labeled as such in the lowest level of hellfire is related to conviction. Pretending to be a Muslim, intending to disseminate, disseminate and to destroy and to totally uh, yeah, any, uh, fight against Islam. This is a full-fledged hypocrite. A person who prays on and off, he's a practical hypocrite. Like the one who lies, like the one who cheats, yet he's still a Muslim till proven otherwise. And I hope this answers your question.